Hey guys, welcome back to Static Works. Today we are reviewing the real seats, the real bride seats versus the fake one. As you can see, this one's all washed out. And this one is not because it's all ombre right there. Right here too. Does this come like that? No, it doesn't. So technically this is fake. It Not technically, it really is fake. You can see the foam thing right here. It is a little pocket for your for me, if I drive his car, I could put my bobby pins in there. So, it's a little pocket for you. You can stick a key in there. For this, do you see any pockets? No. Okay, you don't see anything. You have a butt crack in here. Do you have a butt crack in there? No, you don't. You can put straight through. Your finger straight through. Can you do it this one? No, you cannot. Fake, real. Which one? So today we're gonna be installing my official real bride seat, my yeah, authentic. Only thing fake about my car is my wheels. Nah, the whole, the whole thing's fake. The seat's fake. Show me the rubber seats. I bought them from a guy. You, exactly, you went exactly. with us. No, I didn't. Yeah? Well, what's this? Ready? What's that? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I can put that shit right there too. And yeah, where's that? On what? Where's it gonna fit? I took it off. There's no back with. piece. What do you mean? Oh, this is carbon fiber. It's just painted with, with, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, all I'm saying is my boy Gonzo. Hit me up 200 bucks for two. My boy Gonzo brought his fake bride seats. He bought two for a hundred dollars. Oh, I just said I'm selling them for two. Wait, see, can't trust this guy. Giveaway? I'm down actually. And what if someone dies with it? He's gonna fly it's free. Truck. What do you mean? It's free. What do you mean? It's free. Like, fuck it, if you don't want it, don't comment. It. It's free. <laughs> Obviously, you can see the quality on this one isn't as good as the real one. They're old. They're old. They're old, old fake seats, seats nah, bro. Full bro. Old. What is that? They're missing a bowl. What do you mean? There's a bowl missing, look Where? right here. Fake. You said it was broken. Nah, yeah, because the bowl's missing, look. It's right, oh, fuck, that's, yeah, see, look, it's missing. That's look it. how cheap it is, look it, ready? Shut, look the, that. shut the fuck up, it's fine. Fine, fine. Dude, honestly, I really like the back of it. It's alright. What do you think, Eden? It's hard. It matches your car. Yeah? It does, It's huh? like the Raiders car right here. Yeah? Stop, bro. Don't ever <laughs> insult me like that. What happened to your techie that we were supposed to do a whole build on? So, I sold it today. Yeah, how much? 600. What happened to it? Got rod knock. It bent a valve or something. I don't know. Something in the head. But, um... It was like 1100 to put a new B20 in it, and I wasn't down. I'd rather get my dream car, so. So you got a, you got a 2007, I think the Honda Prelude, right? Yeah, the VTEC. We'll do a video on it. We'll talk about it, because we don't have it here. He's going to go pick it up, but we're going to go do a video. Yo, Prelude? That's fucking <clears throat> sick. Okay, so I did get PCI rails. If you guys seen the last video, we went to go pick these up when we picked up the actual seat, and he gave it to us for a cheap discount. But I did get the slider version of the actual seat rails, which is really good because I didn't want to stay stationary. I was going to get them just because they were a lot of money. And I'm poor out here, dude. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Bro, your car's over there. Yeah? Huge. You tired? Huge surprise with Bruce because he's actually going to be getting a new car. I doubt Eden will get one, so huge shout out to him. We're not really going to show you how to remove this, but we'll give you a quick rundown. There's, I believe, four bolts that hold everything together, and then obviously the harness for um, the airbag and all that good stuff. So we'll show you when he takes it off. But there's going to be two bolts right in front, and then he's going to have to move the seat back. And then there's two bolts, one on each side, that you're going to be removing from here. And then you should be able to actually pull it up, which is going to probably be the hardest part. He's back. He's back. Fuck! I thought you did. You okay, Bruce? What happened? We got the uh, we got the fucking fly back. Fuck that guy. Was, uh, Probably the only difficult part of installing this is actually installing this to the seat. As you can see, there's holes on each side, so you can actually adjust where you want it. And then the height. I'm probably gonna do probably the lowest position just because I always drive low. These are the bolts that came with the bride seat. The owner did give them to me, so thank you to him. And then we're gonna be putting it obviously in here and trying to match up which one we wanted to. 
It's Stephanie what? Why? Me. Why? Him. Me. Sorry. <laughs> Everything's about your you, huh? Selfish cat. Damn, another one, bro. No, why Salt. can't we just go to the Fortnite? Salty cat. Selfish hey, cat. Hey, comment below if you want to fucking slap, and I'll get a good-ass picture of her angry. And it'll just be zoomed in, and it'll say Salty cat. And it'll be signed by her, too. So we're gonna be showing her how to install this. Honestly, I don't think I have a clue how. I don't know if it's like this or the opposite way. Okay, so look at this side. If you look at this side, you can see where I have it. So there's like a bunch of holes. It's gonna be on the fourth one. And then obviously it'll line up perfectly with that one. Okay. So you just have to do the same with that one. Okay. Gonzo, your girlfriend knows about cars now. She can fix anything. Ask her what kind of motor I have. HR. She heists me up. <laughs> See, you're messing up right here. Think about it. Think about what you're doing. Am I taking the thing? No, out? you're tightening it. So it's ready, tidy, but. See, it, it, see how it's harder to turn it? So switch it like this and then try to turn it. Tell me how, how much easier it is. Oh, it's easier. See, I told you. Very. Smaller things are better. There's a little screw right here, and you have to remove this to get this whole plastic part off. So then you can get the little thing for the seat bolt. After looking at all the parts that came with the rails, I think I have it figured out. So obviously the actual rails are here. That's gonna be the custom face plate for the E46. All right, so you had you had a bolt right here. You basically had four bolts, and then you had to lift the seat all the way up max height because it's the power seats. And then it opens this bolt right here, and you take this off. Which releases this. Can I get hey. a, uh, uh, one of those things that's a, a race car seat with a sparkly background? I feel like there's ride? a bunch of seats. Shave your legs. Uh, it's not that. There's a bunch. <laughs> what? You just had a full on conversation with yourself. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna clean this up right now, vacuum everything, and then that's when I'm gonna be placing the seat in here while I'm still trying to figure out how to mount the rails. The guy from PCI said that it is gonna be a little complicated with the seat rails, and I'm gonna have to play with it to try to get the perfect fitment I want. But hopefully, It'll sit as low as possible because that's how I want it. And with the rails, it's not gonna be too low, so it's gonna have that little extra height. Uh, everything's installed now. I'm gonna go take it for a ride. Oh, works great. You're fucking low, is it? Well, thanks, fucker. After like five years of messing around with this, we found out that this thing actually goes right here, and it bolts in right here, and it it like stops the actual slider from sliding. So we were messing around and we thought it was broken because it wasn't moving when it was just this. So what we were trying to do is get it to move so we can put these little welded points inside here. But you need a little washer with these. Oh babe. So the washer is gonna go in between. Just like this side, which I think it's gonna be for the seat belt or to hold the actual belt and then the receptacle or whatever it's called is gonna be on that side. Basically, we found out how to actually loosen the sliders and on top of that, we found out where to bolt these down and we are missing the thing. And this is the actual part that you hold or you pull from your seat and you can move the sliders. And Danny doesn't know how to tie in anything so he broke it and it doesn't fit now. So it's been two hours. I think it's been a little bit more. It's been a little bit more. You know, so basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut a hole right here and a hole right here in the actual seat and we're just gonna drill it down into the, into the fucking, yeah. We're gonna have to try to figure this shit out and hopefully we can get it installed so we can show you guys how it looks on the car. This is, the seat rail is actually installed with the slider. Fuck, I hope it works, dude. You can see right oh, there. Don't say that, you God. This is how it looks installed. It looks so good. How does it look, dude? <laughs> now that we have this piece off the seat, I'm trying to mount it on here, but it looks like these screws are too short, so I sent Bruce to get a longer one, so we can mount this hole to the actual seat, and then we should be good, and then I'll be able to install it and call it a day. So we were able to remove this piece with the seatbelt, which I believe this is the seatbelt occupancy light, so it won't beep, and we're just gonna connect it to that. So I believe the rest of the harness 
is actually for the power and everything so I am really hoping that it'll cancel out the light and I could just keep the whole OEM look without that little beep going off or that little thing on the dashboard. Just because I have so many lights going on, I have my ABS lights because I need to replace the control unit which I'm probably going to take off of Bruce's car. I have the airbag light which obviously you guys know. Do it, do it, hurry, 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 go, 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 go. Some runners and some lions, boys. What the f It's getting pretty dark here, so we're gonna pause the video for today, have it all installed, which we showed you guys what you guys need, and then we're gonna show you guys how it looks afterwards in the daylight tomorrow, when hopefully Martin will be here. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dude, dude, it's static Danny. Oh my god. Dude, dude I'm your biggest fan, dude. Oh. I'm the one who commented. Shut the fuck up, baby. You're the biggest inspiration. Really? What kind of car does he drive? What kind of name? What kind of car does he drive? B what? BMW. BAMW? BMW. We're gonna get everything figured out. We already showed you guys what you guys have to do, and hopefully it all works out according to plan. But tomorrow we will fast forward everything and show you guys how it looks. So one, two. Oof, baby girl. Locked it. Unlock. <laughs> so this is how the seat looks finally installed. I think it looks really good. I'll get you, or I'll get a look from behind so you can see. So this is how it looks from behind. You already know I had to put this static slap that's discontinued. But as you can see, it matches the whole interior and I really like it and I drove it last night and it felt really good so we're gonna go drive it right now and then give bruce an actual drive and see how he feels in it you're like it hugs you better than your own mama dude nobody hugs me better than my mama safety first so obviously i did use the normal seat belts i'm not gonna get a roll cage or a harness bar anytime soon he wants to keep this when he has kids, so it needs to be practical. It's a family drift wagon, bro. The draft, drift taxi. Drift sedan. Drift sedan. Or do you turn? Ooh, how does that feel? Feels good. I feels like crazy, it. huh? Super race car. Blah, blah, blah. Bam, bam, bam. What's funny is when I was talking to one of my buddies who I sold a lot of carbon fiber parts for my G2, um, he had some brides, I believe, I'm not sure if they were replicas or the real ones, but he obviously with all racing seats, they hold you in. So what he had said was that you overestimate your car a lot because you feel like you can actually take that turn and control it, but in reality your car's sliding everywhere, but you can't really feel it because the seat's holding you in so good, and with normal seats, you're like sliding around everywhere. So when I was taking turns that um, yesterday with Eden, it was, it was crazy because I was literally turning an intersection really hard, and I didn't even feel like I was sliding, but all my ABS lights turned on, Eden was screaming like a little girl, and I was legit sliding on that intersection. So. It's crazy how it makes it feel. Um, that's pretty much the only, <laughs> I would say that's a good thing, but also, also a downside, because if you're gonna be driving crazy on the street and you don't even know that you're actually taking a turn that hard, you can lose control and hit someone. But, you know, we like to whip things here at Static Work, so I'm used to it. So the seats fit me really good, and I really like how they are. And I, I always wanted, a bright seat that was always my dream mod besides the duck bill if you guys seen that carbon fiber duck bill for my g35 but brides were always my dream mo modification to the interior and I didn't want to cheap out on some replicas just because it is unsafe I do have rep wheels you guys can say that's unsafe but in reality they've never done me wrong they've never done Bruce wrong <laughs> they haven't they didn't crack <laughs> Anyone I know with ESR wheels, they've been good. So I'm not trying to throw shade on any replicas. I'm just saying when it comes to the interior and your seats and what hold you in when you crash, 
that's always gonna be really important. Like I said, I did wanna get the seats due to safety reasons, just because I am driving this thing every day and having no airbag on the steering wheel and having, you know, f fake replica seats that I've heard break off all the time when you crashed. I didn't want that, so that's why um, I saved up for some real seats. There's a lot of things coming, especially with Bruce and Martin. Martin, oof, Martin, Martin, I hate you right now. You know why, and you guys will know why. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.